This is section 3.3, Properties of Logarithms. Uh, we have a five minute check here. Evaluate log base four of the square root of two. We're looking at four to some power is equal to two to the one half. We can write four as two squared. So let's call the missing exponent x. So we have four is two squared. We have a missing exponent here. And that's equal to two to the one half. Well now 2x needs to be equal to 1 half. If we multiply both sides by 1 half, the missing value or this evaluates to 1 fourth. Log base 5 of 5 is 1. 5 to the first power is 5. When both bases are the same, in other words we have base 10 in the exponent and base 10 in the log, those cancel each other out and the answer is 2. On this one, there is no value. We cannot take the natural log of a negative value. You can't take the natural log of zero either. Key concept properties of logarithms. The product property. Log base b of x times y, so the log of both of those. When you have multiplication, you can split those over addition. You can have a log taken individually to x plus log base b of y. When we have division, when you're taking the log of division, you can split those over subtraction. And likewise, if you have uh, two with subtraction, you can combine them into one with division. This one's probably the most powerful property. If we have log base b of x to the p, you can actually bring that p down in front. So if we had log base three of five to the seventh, let's say, you could write that as seven times log base 3 of 5. Letter A, express log 96 in terms of log of 2 and log of 3. Well, we can split 96 into 3 times 32, and 32 is equal to 2 to the fifth. We can write this as log of 3 times 2 to the fifth. Then we can split this as log of 3 plus log of 2 to the fifth, and then we could bring the 5 down in front. So we have log of 3 plus 5 log of 2. Now this log of 96 is written in terms of log of 2 and log of 3. We just happen to be multiplying log of 2 by 5. Express log of 32 over 9 in terms of log 2 and log 3. I can write this as log of 32 minus log of 9. Well that's log of 2 to the fifth minus log of 3 squared. And then we can write it in terms of log 2 and log 3 by bringing the powers down in front. So we have 5 log 2 minus 2 log 3. In the last one we have express natural log of 125 over 27 in terms of natural log of 3 and natural log of 5. Well this can be written as natural log of 125 minus natural log of 27. Then we can write natural log of 5 to the third minus natural log of 3 to the third and then bring the powers down in front. So 3 natural log of 5 minus 3 natural log of 3. Evaluate log base 2 of the third root of 32. So we're looking at 2 to what power is equal to, uh, let's have 32 to the 1 third power. Now if we can get both of these bases to be 2, uh, we're pretty much home free. So let's say 2 to some value is equal to, this is 2 to the fifth raised to the 1 third power. So 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the 5 thirds. So this evaluates, this whole thing evaluates to 5 thirds. Evaluate 3 natural log of e to the 4th minus 2 natural log e squared. Well these cancel out and we have 3 times 4 minus natural log of e, that's base e, so those cancel out. We have 2 times 2. We have 12 minus 4, that evaluates to 8. Expand natural log of 4m to the third n to the fifth. Well, we can write this as natural log of 4 plus natural log of m to the third plus 
natural log of n to the fifth. Uh, that's multiplication, and when we expand it out, we can use addition uh, when we have multiplication here. Now we have natural log of four plus three natural log of m plus five natural log of n. Expand log of two x minus three over three times the fourth root of x. Well, first we have log of two x minus three minus log of three times the fourth root of x. Well, then we can write log of two x minus three, and I know you're tempted to distribute the log through, but we can't actually do that. We have minus log of three plus log of x to the one fourth. Next we write log of two x minus three. We have minus log of three. Uh, that should be a three. And then uh, minus one fourth log of x. So we brought down the one fourth down to the front and distributed the negative through. A, condense one half log base four of x minus three log base four of x minus two. The first thing we can do is bring those powers back up to the top. And we have log base four of x raised to the one half, that's the square root of x, and then minus log base four of x minus two to the third. Then we can condense these. Now this is a minus, and when we put the logs together, and write one log, we have to use division when there's a minus in between. We have the square root of x over x minus two to the third. Condense this, well, we bring the five back up to a power, we can bring the six back up to a power. We have natural log of x plus one to the fifth plus natural log of x to the sixth. Then there's a plus in between, so we can combine these two using multiplication. We have x to the sixth times x plus one to the fifth, and I chose to put x to the sixth in front rather than having it behind the x plus one to the fifth. Condense negative natural log of x plus natural log of x plus three plus natural log of x. Well, let's do this. Let's have natural log of x plus three, uh, and then plus natural log of x, and then maybe minus uh, natural log of x squared. I'd rather have the negative on the end than in front. Uh, these two combine with multiplication, so we have natural log of x times x plus three, and then we minus natural log of x squared. Well, if we have minus in between, we can write that as division. So it goes to one log x times x plus three over x squared. Then we can write natural log, natural log, of x plus three over x when we uh, cancel out one of the x's. Change of base formula for any positive real number a, b, and x, a cannot equal one, b cannot equal one. If you wanna know the log base b of x, that's equal to the log base a of x over log base a of b. So let's say we want to evaluate log base six of four. We could change that to common log, log of four, divided by log of six. We want to change this to log to, uh, to common log or log base 10 because that's what our calculator does. So now we can take log of four, that's natural log, log of four divided by, uh, let's, whoop, we gotta close the parentheses, close the parentheses, divided by log of six. And that's gonna be 0.774. That evaluates to 0.774. Now we can change it to any base we want. We could do base E or natural log of four divided by natural log of six. And we should get the exact same answer. Natural log of four divided by natural log of six. And I remember to close that parenthesis there. And it is 0.774. So it's the same answer, 0.774. With change of base, it doesn't matter what base you pick. We just happen to pick bases that our calculator can handle. Evaluate log base one third of eight. That is log of eight divided by log of one third. 
So we have log of 8 divided by log of 1 third. And that's a negative, negative 1.893. Now, when you evaluate logs, you can get negative answers. That's not a problem. What you can't do is take the log of negative 4. You can't take the log of negatives, but you can take the log of a positive number and get a negative answer. Evaluate log of 20, log base 1 5th of 25. We can do natural log of 25 divided by natural log of 1 5th. Natural log of 25 divided by natural log of one-fifth. And that is negative two.